would you? Not even the fact your name's Ryan as well, that's rather lovely. Stay a while while you're here. Oh, you are, because you're on the A303. Marvellous. A great song choice, so we'll see if we can play that before uh, 12 o'clock. So keep them coming in. Songs for or about teenagers is the topic for Hear All About It on BBC Watch this morning. Now, this time, about 11.30 on a Saturday morning, we open up the live lounge because we love to salute the great musicians we have in Wiltshire and the live music you can hear. And today joining us is Wade Merritt, who performed at the big Westbury Weekender last night. He's from Warminster and joins us. Morning to you, Wade. Morning. Now, you said earlier, as it's a weekender, you might go back and, and carry I on. might go back, yeah. It's a two-day thing. Uh, I think they're still selling tickets on the door, so if you want to go down and have a look, I'm sure they'd very much appreciate it. So you're going back to play or to I'm just... I'm going to watch just to support. Watch. I know some of the people who are playing there, so I thought, you know what, I've got an all-day pass, so I'll go and have a look. Excellent. So how did the gig itself, your gig, go then? I think it went pretty well. I was one of two acts last night. I was on about eight o'clock. It went pretty well. I just played some pub standards, and then I played a bunch of my EP and tried to just push that as much as I could. Right. I, it, you, you gave me... I'm clutching your EP as we speak. So yeah. tell us about the EP. When did this come out? The EP came out last month, about mid-last month. And, yeah, it's with Skyward Express. You can find it on Spotify, iTunes, you can find it on Google, Amazon Music, it's on all streaming platforms. The title of the track, Skyward Express, I sort of wrote it when I was in North Wales, a little story here. We uh, had a holiday and we were staying in a little lodge in uh, a town near Snowdon. And so we went to visit Snowdon one day and we went up the mountain and there's the Mountain Railway Express thing. And so on the train, on the way up the mountain, it was sort of like, wow, this train goes on forever. And so that was sort of like the inspiration for it. So when we got back to the lodge, I picked up a little pink guitar that we had brought with us, which is like a nylon string, very easy to carry around. And I uh, sat on the edge of the bed and just wrote that song. I was like, oh, this sounds not bad. Inspired <laughs> oh, by a train trip going up yes. Snowdon. I don't think there are many bands we've had on that have said they've been inspired by that little train that goes up Snowdon. Yeah. And the picture of it is, is one from Warminster, which I didn't quite recognise to start with, yeah. uh, with beautiful, where, where is that with the blue sky? It is a uh, Warminster station. Warminster station. Yes, on the uh, a very impressive. You got the blue sky. Yes, we waited a long time for that. <laughs> <laughs> so if you uh, watched it this month, you'd have been fine. No. You'd have been all <laughs> that kind of blue sky. But never mind. So Skyward Express is the new EP. How would you describe the musical style? What people can hear when they're when they're listening to this? Well, you know, my main three inspirations are the Beatles, Queen, and ELO. So I'm trying to like incorporate like the innovation of the Beatles and how they made music like what it is. Uh, ELO for their chord progressions and their sort of like disco space kind of sound, and Queen for like Freddie's lyrics and sort of thing. But of course, I'm an acoustic act. I've got a bassist and a drummer on the tracks as well, so it's like a bit more chilled or laid back, very stripped back versions. Of, 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 my vision, but, but I'm, I'm really happy. With I'm it. kind of surprised because that's quite references from quite some old older bands. So mm. when you're at you know when you're at school, I imagine you would go, did, did, did your sort of colleagues and friends kind of think, what on earth are you talking about these bands that we don't know anything about? I don't know. It's, it sort of like picked up as I was going on. Like the first introduction to Queen I had was actually through McFly because they did a cover of Don't Stop Me Now. And so when like my dad had like a Queen CD. And so we'd listen to it and it's like, oh, who is this song by Wade? And I'll be like, oh, it's McFly. Like me being like nine years old, it's like, wrong, it's Queen. It's like, how could you do this to me? <laughs> do you know what? I love your dad already. Yeah. Just giving you a musical yeah, a education. Guy. That's yeah. how it's actually supposed to go. So you've got, have you got lots of shows lined up over the summer? I do. I'm going to be playing at Market Lamington on the 13th for a little barbecue. I'll be playing on the 20th at Winterbourne Earls Festival and on the 27th at Dinton Village Hall and in Pernham Down. So... Excellent. Yeah. And some birdie told me that, that you're supporting the Wurzels then, is that I right? I will be supporting Come the on. Wurzels. I know. Come on, supporting the Wurzels. I know. Do you I'm have any excited. idea who the Wurzels are, Wade? I do know. Right. Yes, <laughs> we had a little CD of like bands based around the local area and the Wurzels won it, so we'd go on like long road journeys and like listen to Gumboy Horister and all that. <laughs> and so it's, it's part of my childhood now. <laughs> Brilliant. Excellent stuff. So um, you're here for, for the live lounge, which is great. What are you going to play for us in the, in the live lounge? I'll be playing Time Won't Tell, the second song on my EP. Excellent. If you want to find out more, you mentioned you're gigging quite a lot in Wiltshire. How do we find out where, where you are? You can find me on Facebook at Wade Merritt Official. That's Merritt spelt M E R R I T T official. And it's an orange profile picture with a white silhouette of me. You can find it on the pages tab on Facebook. Uh, I go on Instagram with the same name, Wade Merritt Official, and on Twitter as just Wade Official. Brilliant. So, except no substitute, go for the official Wade Merritt. So, Time Won't Tell, uh, tell us a bit about the song itself, how it came about. Well, it's a bit of a breakup song, to be honest. Oh, wait, don't do that to us. I know, I'm sorry. Just put a downer on this lovely sunny day. <laughs> yeah, it's like but this... we all need a breakup song, don't we, to We be do. That is exactly it. That's how I was like introducing it back when I wrote it, like two or three years ago. I'd get on stage and be like, well, this is a breakup song. 
<laughs> but it's, it's an upbeat song, so like I try to like trick people a bit. So like when they listen to it, they go, "Oh, this is really upbeat." But they listen to it a second time, listen to the lyrics, and go, "Hang on a minute." Ah, right. Maybe we won't <laughs> use this as our first dance at the wedding. Maybe not. <laughs> uh, wait, do you want to make your way to the live band? I'd love to. Brilliant stuff. So it's always great when you get a, a, a new singer songwriter on the show. Wade Merritt is his name, and he was playing the big Westbury weekend last night. Loads of gigs. Uh, lined up so to find out more just go to wade merit official and that's n e w r i w t wade merit official on facebook all the kind of social media he's all over and of course the ep is out as well skywood express uh, as well that's just been released and a track from that oh, wade is going to play us now this is time won't tell <laughs> Thank you, Wade, for that. Uh, the EP is called Skywood Express. Find out more about Wade and those gigs he's got lined up in Wiltshire. Wade Merritt Official 